can't wait. 32,000 people, it's going to be magnificent, isn't it? You know, hopefully it's, uh, you know, we've got a vision of this football club and hopefully that, that can be a sign of the, the sign of the future, you know, a full St Mary's, the atmosphere, regardless of the score, you know, we've got an opportunity to fill St Mary's, to create that atmosphere, that cauldron, um, you know, it's a special occasion for everybody, but we want it to be a special occasion every game down at St Mary's for the future. Um, so, you know, we can get that noise since I've joined the football club. You, you come in the stadium and uh, you do have that wow factor. And, like, obviously, the games go on and the supporters do get behind the players and the noise does gradually build. And, uh, you know, we've put some good performances on this season. Obviously, there's a lot more media interest in it. We try and control that as best as we can in, in that respect. But from the players' point of view, yes, the, the name of Man United, but in our preparation for a game, we treat it exactly the same in how we prepare for a game. So. We try and keep a level of consistency about ourselves because at the end of the day, we want to win every game of football that we play. So from that point of view, the, tra the way training's gone, um, we have tried to keep it consistent. Obviously, we've got a massive game on Tuesday again in the league. The league is very important to us this season for this football club. Well, we, listen, you've got 32,000 people on Saturday. It's live on the television. You know, we've got a responsibility to go out and make sure that we do everything we can, you know, it's, and again, you try and have this winning mentality about yourself, you try and be the best that you can be, you try and strive to win every game that you play, every training session you try and be the best you can be, you know, that's what you're looking for, but obviously I've got to sit there as a manager and obviously we navigated through the course of the, the games over Christmas and we got some great results, good performances, manipulated the squad round, not just about 11 players, uh, the previous game in the FA Cup we played Blackpool, did very, very well, got a very good victory. But from the game previous to that, we made eight changes. So the players are well aware it's not just about 11, it's about the squad. And if you look at the team we play on Saturday, Manchester United, they've been the masters of it for 20 years. Unbelievable manager, a winning manager. He's built and, uh, he's built and moved teams around and built them again, but he's consistently won trophies. But it's not just about 11 players. They've been going for four trophies every year. And to do that, you need a squad of players. And at Manchester United, they've bought into that philosophy. It's, it's a big day for the supporters. The history of this football club, we've already won the trophy once in 1976. And that should always be remembered. I mean, Peter Rodriguez came down this morning with the trophy with Huey Fisher. Fisher. Oh, I keep forgetting his name. With Huey Fisher. And that was great to speak to them and see the trophy and talk about memories. And I'm sure this weekend there'll be 30 odd thousand people, many of them who have were either at Wembley in 1976 or had a relation who was there. So it's a great weekend for everybody at Southampton to talk about the history and the memories they had. And that's the beauty of the FA Cup. And hopefully we can get a good result and a good performance at the weekend. And in the future, the supporters can talk about a special day this weekend in the future.